Hi, hello, it's JD and welcome to another video. So I'm really excited about today's video because today I'm gonna to be doing a 24 hour readathon. And I haven't done one of these since last year and this will be my second ever 24 hour readathon. I'm so excited because I really am feeling like I'm in a slump or going into a slump. And I thought, what better way to get me out of a slump than doing a 24 hour readathon where I have to hold myself accountable, vlog it, and read something. So that's what we're doing. It's the 2nd of February, so I'm hoping I can get through some reads, kind of make a good, like, well, maybe not a dent in my TBR because some of these books aren't even on my TBR, but at least kick the month off with some really good reads and having some books read. So yeah, that is why we're doing this readathon. I did actually tweet about this readathon and I said like was anyone else interested in joining and a lot of people commented saying yes as well as on Instagram. So now a lot of you guys are also joining me on this 24 hour readathon. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so fun. Hopefully we all get lots of reading done. So I have picked my TBR out but whether or not I will stick to this exact TBR during this 24 hour readathon we shall see. I do have other options and then I have other other options after those. So I'll just show you my basic TBR. I have six books here that I would like to get through. <laughs> Very ambitious because I don't want to be overly ambitious but I also want to read all of the books so yeah that's where we're at. Um, so we've got six books here. Is it doable? Possibly. I am a slow reader so we shall see and I haven't started any of these either so it's not like I'm going to be like already halfway through them or something. I have a romance or rom com book because it is February and it wouldn't be February without a romance. So we have The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa and next we have Fierce Fairy Tales and Other Stories to Stay Your Soul by Nikita Gill. These are all basically feminist fairy tales. There's like some poems in here and short stories and stuff and just like all different things like that. I thought this would be nice to kind of break up a little bit and just throw something else in there. So hopefully this is another one I get to. And then of course we have a manga. So we have Junji Ito's Venus in the Blind Spot. I'm obsessed with this cover. I hauled this a few months ago and I've been meaning to read it since I got it and it will be my first Junji Ito. So I'm very, very excited. I really hope that this is definitely one that I get to. Like I said, I might only end up reading one book. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to try and stay awake as well. Like I will be getting some sleep at some point, but very little sleep. But we'll see because I am already tired and I haven't even started yet. Um, but yes, I have a manga. Then I have a reread, which is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I am hoping to reread this. I am also separately vlogging for this too. So although I will update you guys on my progress on this, I am doing a separate reading vlog for this book. So look out for that. But I'm very, very excited because I love this book. It's my fave. Well, Akamath is my fave, but this is my favourite series ever. So yes, this will be a reread and I'm going to be annotating this one too. And then I have two graphic novels. I have Saga Volume 1 and I also have Cami Garcia's Teen Titans Raven. So I'm hoping to get to both of these as well. But yes, that is all the books I plan to read in this next 24 hours. Fingers crossed, we love some optimism, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I can only try. Yes, those are all the books I plan to read. And I honestly don't know where to start. So yes, there's all of those, but before I start getting ready to start reading, I did receive a package the other day and I'm very, very excited for this and I thought now would be the perfect time to unbox this and use it in this vlog and I'm really really excited for this. I've been waiting for this to arrive and oh, I just can't wait. So basically this brand reached out to me and they said that they'd like to send me one of their blankets and I was like hell yes because I've seen these before and they are absolutely stunning and I've always wanted one and I was literally just so so happy when they reached out to me so so yeah the brand is called Emposia. I will have their website linked down below. This is gifted, it's not sponsored or anything. I'm just, I'm so excited. I really have wanted one of these for so long. And they let me pick one and I just feel like this matches my channel and my vibe so well. I've got scissors, so let's try and cut this open without cutting the actual blanket. I'm so excited and this is gonna be so cute. I'm gonna use this during this readathon. I'm gonna get nice and cozy with it. Have I just cut the blanket? I hope not. Oops. So. I did cut the packaging, but I don't think I cut the blanket, thank God. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God. So you get a little card with their brand name on it, but you also get a cozy peppermint hot chocolate 
recipe. How cute is this? This is just giving me all the cozy vibes. Look at this. Oh my god, it's really, really big. Like, I can already tell this is going to be huge. Oh my god, it's fluffy on the inside. <gasps> It's huge. Oh my goodness. This is so big, you guys. This is absolutely <laughs> gigantic. Oh my god, it's so cute. If you can already see inside, it's all fluffy. I don't know how I'm going to show you guys this. Oh my god, it's got a hood. It's a cape. Jamie, this is a cape. A cape blanket. Oh my god. I had no idea I had a hood. Look, it's a hooded, gigantic blanket. This is like the ultimate coziness. It's like a cloaked blanket. It's a cloak and a blanket in one. This is like me living out like my ultimate cozy fantasy dreams. I, I finally got a cloak, but it's also a snuggly blanket. Oh my God. <laughs> this is literally heaven. Right, I need to move you guys back so you can see. You can see my messy room, but I've moved you guys back because I need to like show off this. Like, look at this. First off, we love Casper, um, but second, like, just look. So it is literally like a cloak, and inside it's like lined with like this really soft, like fairy stuff. Oh my god, it's just so nice. Um, so yeah, we have a cloak, and look, it has moons on it. It's got constellations and books. Like, it's so me. Look at this, guys. <laughs> It's so cute. And then if we put the hood up. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like a wizard. I feel like a wizard. <laughs> I'm literally living my best life right now. Like, this is just... I never want to take it off. But yes, I am literally obsessed with this. I don't know what to read first. It's almost 8 p.m. when the readathon starts. I'm just gonna move these scissors before I hurt myself. Okay, so editing Jody here. I totally forgot to mention a couple of things while I was showing you guys this really nice blanket. So I'm just quickly gonna pop on and tell you now. So I do actually have a discount code for you guys so you can get 10% off one of these Imposia blankets if you really want to. And I will also include a link in the description box and as soon as you click this link, it will automatically take 10% off anything you add to your basket on the website. So yes, you guys can get 10% off if you really wanna get one of these blankets. 10% discount code is Cozy Moon. So if you pop that in, you will get 10% off. I will have the 10% discount link in the description box. Yes, Jodie Editing is gonna go back to editing now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with Akatar. Or do I start with a graphic novel to ease myself in? No, we're gonna start with Akatar because I love it so much. If it's gonna be a Jodie reading vlog, we have to go make a hot drink to start with. So cue some aesthetic shots of me making hot chocolate.
I'm only on the first page and I'm already obsessed. I love this. It says, we all have storms and stories inside our star made bodies that even the night sky cannot hold. This is why we are on this earth, to learn how to love each other, learn how to love and hold ourselves. I love that so much. And it's literally the first one in here and I can already tell I'm gonna love this book. Okay, so it is now 11 p.m. exactly. I finished two books so far. Um, I didn't end up starting Akatar just yet. I read Fierce Fairy Tales by Nikita Gill first. I gave this 3.75 stars to be exact. I really, really enjoyed this. I really love some of the poems in here as well. But yeah, some of them I was just a bit like lost with and were a bit like. I don't know like it was really really good like I did really really enjoy it I rounded it up to four stars for Goodreads and it really is just full of like really good feminist like retellings it's like reimaginings of fairy tales and fables as well which is really really cool and then I just finished my first ever Junji Ito manga which was just amazing like this was so unbelievably weird and creepy and I loved it. Um, and this was Venus in the Blind Spot. I gave this five stars. This was just so good. This is like a bunch of short stories. And yeah, I just, I really, really enjoyed it. It was really, really weird and just fun. And yeah, it was just 200 plus pages of amazingness, basically. Two down, which isn't bad um, for three hours. Well, I didn't actually start reading until half past eight. So... I don't feel too bad about it. I'm gonna go downstairs, get some food and a drink and stuff. And once I've done that, I think I'm gonna come up and start a Court of Thorns and Roses and see how far into this I can get before I fall asleep. Or maybe I will read a graphic novel first before this. I'm not sure yet. We shall see. But I'm gonna go and take a break and get some food and stuff. <laughs> Okay, sorry if you can hear anything in the background, my boyfriend's watching Netflix, but I've just had a little break from reading. I am feeling quite tired, but I've just gotten some chocolate brownie with Kinder Bueno that my sister's made, which I'm very excited about. And then I also have got the biggest mug of tea um, because like I said, I'm feeling tired and I feel like I need the caffeine. So I'm hoping this tea will fuel me for a little bit longer because I'm about to start Akatar and I want to get at least 50 pages in so we shall see but I am feeling very tired so yeah let's see how we go <laughs>
Okay, so I did briefly start reading Akta. I literally read like two pages and I'm just so like sleepy. Like it's only 25 past 12, but I am tired, like so, so tired. Like I'm getting a really bad headache. So what I'm thinking is, because I'm struggling to read like a full page of like words, I'm thinking I will read Saga Volume 1 because it's a graphic novel, I feel like I'll just be able to read that a bit easier, being so tired. And then I think I will try and get a few hours sleep and then wake up in the morning and just read like Akhtar. Um, I feel like that's probably the best plan because I'm so tired and it's just going to take me twice as long to read Akhtar, especially annotating and stuff. So yes, I think I will read Saga Volume 1 um, and then properly read Akhtar tomorrow. So I think I will read this and then go to bed. So if I don't update you guys before then, then assume that I read this and fell straight asleep. <laughs> Okay, hi, so it is the following day. It is quarter past three in the afternoon. So obviously I haven't vlogged at all today. Finished Saga volume one last night and I gave it four stars. It was so, so good. I really enjoyed it, it's quite funny. It's a little bit um, more adult than I thought it was gonna be and some of the stuff was really weird. Like there was a dude in this comic with like a bottle in, a certain hole <laughs> and it was just weird like why um but yeah it was just yeah it was it was quite funny and it was really good so i definitely do want to pick up the second volume soon but yeah i finished that and then as soon as i'd read that i was so tired last night my head was so sore i just went to sleep and i snoozed my alarm this morning so i didn't get up until like i think half eight nine o'clock and I had to spend the whole morning editing a video that needs to go up tonight that I still need to take a thumbnail for, which is great. And yeah, I basically have just been editing and doing that all morning, really. Um, I did read some of A Court of Thorns and Roses, though. So I am now on page... <laughs> not very much. Um, I'm on page 37, um, but because I'm tabbing and annotating this a lot, it's obviously slowing down my reading um, because I'm taking the time to do that. So I have at least started this, and I am going to be reading this today. Um, but I've also been listening to the audiobook for Clap When You Land. So I have hour and 11 minutes left. I'm about halfway through. Um, I don't know if I'll finish that today, I, maybe, um, but yes, I am like halfway through this now um, and I am definitely enjoying it. It's really, really interesting to see how different these two sisters are and how everything's kind of transpiring. Yeah, it's just, it's really interesting. I am enjoying it. Some of the stuff, like there are trigger warnings in here for like sexual assault and stuff and that stuff is really intense and 
yeah obviously it's not nice to read about but seeing things from these two different characters perspectives and they live completely different lives so it's really interesting to see the contrast between the two and yeah i'm just really really enjoying the story um i'm listening to the audiobook because everyone told me on a live stream that i should try elizabeth akaberu's audiobooks because she does self-narrate and i am definitely enjoying her narration so yeah it's really really fun so far maybe i'll finish this one as well it wasn't on the tbr i just kind of felt like picking it up so i mean i might finish this later i just don't know when i'll be listening to an audiobook though yeah i think for now i just need to go and take my thumbnail for that video and then i am going to read so yes i will update you guys soon So it is currently a quarter to six and I haven't done a ton more of reading. I think last time I updated you guys I was on like page 30 something of Akhtar. I'm now on page 54. So not a ton of progress but like I said I am tabbing and annotating the crap out of this book. So yes. But yes I am on page 57 of Akhtar. Definitely not going to be finishing that during this readathon, but I'm glad that I've started it. I've just gotten carried away with doing YouTube stuff today. I've had so much stuff I needed to do, a video to edit, and other stuff, so I haven't actually had much time to read today. But I have been listening to the audiobook for Clap When You Land. I'm now on page about 240 something, so I'm pretty close to finishing this, I guess. Um, but I'm about to go on Holly's um, live show and we're gonna be doing reading sprints. So I might try to finish this during the sprints listening to the audiobook, or I might just concentrate on Akhtar. I'm not really sure yet. Maybe I'll do both, I'm not sure. Um, but yes, I'm going on Holly's sprints and I'm really, really excited because I love going on her sprints and I just love Holly so yeah it feels weird saying Holly I call her spoops so I'm excited to go on spoops um live show <laughs> yes I have apparently I have 53 minutes left of the audiobook which seems a lot I thought it'd be less so I might bump up the speed and see if I can squeeze that in um but I don't know I've read three books it's not all bad and considering I haven't actually really been doing any reading today I'm okay with it I do plan to do another 24 hour readathon very very soon so it's all good kicking off the month with three books read though amazing I'm really really happy <laughs> just had so much to do today um but yeah I'm gonna get ready now to go on Spoops's live and I will update you guys later 
Okay, so it's not quite 8 p.m. It's like just about to turn 10 to. I just finished the audiobook for Clock When You Land by Elizabeth Acovedo. I rated this at three stars. I really enjoyed it. Three stars is not a bad rating for me. Um, it just means that I really, really enjoyed it. I feel like it started off stronger than the way it ended. Like I was really, really into it when it started. I was really intrigued. And I just felt like it took too long for the sisters to meet and then towards like the end i was confused over whose perspective was whose like i couldn't really differentiate between the two i don't know if that's just me or not but yeah i just felt like it just didn't i don't know it didn't have the same like interest for me that i had in it at the start if that makes sense and um, but i still really really enjoyed it gave it three stars i definitely prefer power x to this one but it was still amazing um i still really enjoyed it i'm glad i managed to finish this before the readathon ends um haven't made any more progress on akatar yet sorry i'm just looking to make sure my camera and stuff's off because <laughs> i'm on a live show um but yeah i haven't made any progress with court of thorns and roses yet i mean any more progress oh my god i'm so sleepy i'm making no sense i'm still on page 54 so yeah i'm gonna be reading this now on holly's live um but i think i'm gonna go make a cup of tea because i'm really really sleepy and i still want to read some of this anyway i want to get to page 100 at least tonight um because i do want to finish this by the weekend so yeah i would like to make some progress i'm really gutted that i didn't finish this but to be honest if i hadn't have been like doing youtube stuff all day and editing i definitely would have read this but I just haven't been reading for most of the day. So I mean, I would still call this readathon a success still because I did still manage to finish four books and I had a lot of fun. So yeah, I will chat to you guys in a bit and wrap this up properly. But I'm gonna go make a brew and read some more on Holly's lives. I'm gonna say hello. My thing isn't on. But yes, I'm on Spoops' live show. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do that and bye. <laughs> So it is a much different day and time to when I did this 24 hour readathon, but I totally forgot to wrap it up. I don't know how or why, but yeah, I forgot. So I'm gonna do that now. So yeah, the 24 hour readathon. The first half went really, really great. Then I slept too long and then I ended up having to spend the whole second half of it doing YouTube stuff. So I didn't actually do as much reading as I could have done, but I'm still really pleased with what I managed to get done. I managed to read four books, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And I did start Akatar as well. So if I hadn't have been doing all the YouTube stuff, I probably would have finished Akatar in that vlog, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, so yes, I am gonna quickly wrap this up and talk about some of these books quickly. So I ended up randomly listening to the audiobook for Clap On Your Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. I absolutely loved this. I gave it three stars in total. I didn't plan originally to pick this up, but because I was doing YouTube stuff and like other things, I was like, I wanna listen to an audiobook and I just wasn't really sure what I was in the mood for. And loads of people had recommended listening to one of their audiobooks because she self-narrates. And yeah, I really, really enjoyed her narration. It was so good. Um, the reason I gave it three stars was just because I felt like it started off really, really well. And it didn't quite keep that momentum throughout the book for me. I just felt like by the end, I wasn't as interested anymore. I still loved it, but just not like as much as I had done. So I felt like it started out with maybe a four stars and went to a three for me. I really did enjoy it though. I just think it took too long for the sisters to meet. And I found it hard to differentiate between the two towards the end with what they were saying. So... Yeah, I'm not really sure why, but that's just kind of how I felt. I did really enjoy this, though. It touched on some really, really important issues. Um, there are trigger warnings for, like, assault and things like that in here. So if you're going to pick this up, just make sure you check out my memory card. It was full, so that's great. Um, but, yeah, as I was saying, I think you should check out the trigger warnings first before you go into this book. This does include, like, a plane crash and stuff as well. So some of it is very, very intense, but I just really, really enjoyed this. And I really love... Elizabeth Acovedo's writing. This is written in verse as well, which is another thing I love about it. Um, so yes, I gave this one a three stars. And then I also read Nikita Gill's Fierce Fairy Tales and Other Stories to Stir Your Soul. Um, so this is kind of like all like feminist retellings of like fairy tales and fables and there's poetry in here. This was really, really good. I think I gave this four stars and I really, really loved some of the poems and things in here. I really connected with some of them. It had lots of like these gorgeous little like illustrations. I'm trying to find some more 
like there were some really really cool illustrations in here as well which i really really liked and i just really loved the style of the writing and yeah like i said some of them i really connected with and just really enjoyed others not so much which is why it was a four star read for me but yes this was just a really really nice read and i really really enjoyed it then I read my first Junji Ito as well, so I gave this five stars. This is a collection of short manga horror stories, basically. And these were so bloody weird and creepy and just, ugh, but I love them. Like, I absolutely love them. They're just so, like, unique and different. Very, 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 very weird and i've never read anything like it before and i absolutely loved it i cannot wait to pick up more junji ito now like i really really did enjoy this um so if you're maybe interested in reading some junji ito maybe go for this first just because this is quite small it's short stories i feel like it's a good way of getting into junji ito i mean i haven't read his other stuff yet but i just for me personally i feel like this was the perfect book to introduce me to his work and i absolutely loved it it was just really really cool <laughs> and then i have saga volume one so i gave this four stars really really enjoyed this this was just so like funny and cool and the world building was really good there's some really weird things in here and this has got a lot of adult themes in it so definitely be wary of that if you're a younger watcher on my channel but yeah this is just really really good and i like the art style i like the characters the whole like world and everything it just wasn't quite five stars for me but i still really loved it so i'm looking forward to picking up the rest of the volumes in this series i really 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 want to read volume two um, i want to know what's going to happen next but yeah that is all the books i managed to read during this readathon it was a very spontaneous last minute one and i ended up sleeping for most of it and working for the rest of it so it wasn't as productive as i'd hoped but i still enjoyed the readathon and i hope for any of you guys that did join in with me too because i know a lot of you over on twitter and instagram were doing it you guys got a lot of reading done and really enjoyed it let me know if you did participate what you managed to read because i really want to know like i'm really intrigued to see how much other people read and what books you read as well so do let me know in the comments down below i will link the four books that i read down in the description bar so you guys can go and check them out i will also have all of my social media which includes my twitter bookstagram and goodreads linked down below along with my amazon wish list and i will have some really really important resources and links linked down below as well if you do want to check those out i would highly recommend doing so but yeah i really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and for those of you who are new here i make bookish videos twice a week and i host weekly live shows as well with the reading sprints so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of those videos i would love to have you here on my little space on the internet but yeah i hope that you did enjoy this video i hope you're all safe and well i'm reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next one Bye. Bye.